name's Jerry Mortz, I'm electrical superintendent here at Corn Belt. Going on 43 years uh, with the substation department. We were first uh, introduced back in the, probably the 80s with ground problems on bolted connections. Had issues with the bolted connections uh, getting to the shape where they failed on us. And at that time we tried some CAD weld products, which is basically a welding process, bonding to bonding as far as uh, chemical reaction. And from there we've moved forward where our new substation grids, switching station grids, and some motor operated switches, we weld all connections because it is a much better weld, does not break down if it's below the um, earth line and uh, just uh, actually takes the weather and stress a lot better and lasts forever. The CAD welds we've used in the past was always in the canister sh shape where basically we had to heat the molds, clean the conductors, basically your weld metal is in the inside as you take your cap off, you pour it into the cylinder, you have it a thermal disc that you laid in as such. When this reached a certain temperature, it would release, allowing the metal from your canister to go down in to perform the weld. We have new products, and I'm going to let them go into it somewhat as technology moves forward in the power industry also it does in the products that we use and um, with that Tom Dave would you have a few words on this please Tom? hi Tom Strudel with Erico uh, we came in this morning and uh, demonstrated Cadwell Plus uh, as we discussed earlier the traditional product came in a blue tube and was facilitated basically pouring the material into the mold and then in the bottom mold you got your exothermic or your welded connection exothermic meaning to create heat so we take copper oxide and aluminum, we re it's a thermite reaction, and we get copper and aluminum oxide as the byproduct or the slag of the connection. So this would be the aluminum oxide, and the connection would be solid copper. Uh, we have some section samples here to show you as well, and obviously the benefits of this is that it's a strand block, and there's also more copper here than there is in the connection itself, or in the conductor itself. So nothing can move down the conductor and migrate inside the connection as well as there's more copper here in the connection than the conductor so the conductor will fuse or fail before the connection does. Uh, the Cadwell Plus product is uh, just a little bit about the process itself. It is a thermite reaction. We use a, a graphite mold or a graphite die to facilitate the process. And then we use a handle clamp just to hold the graphite mold and then you take your weld metal, which is, so you can see it, powdered copper and aluminum, uh, basically. And we use the aluminum to initiate the process and the copper to make the connection. So you grab your handle clamps, you insert them in your mold, um, you tighten your handle clamps to your mold. And again, the handle clamps are just to hold the mold so we have something to hang on to. Uh, then we get our, our conductors or whatever we're going to connect and we get some weld metal and we can make this connection anywhere. So it's perfect for a substation environment because typically we're bulldozing a grade, we're trenching and we don't have any AC or any access to any power so it's a very good process to initiate in that environment. So the Cadwell Plus is again, uh, it has the integrated disc already in the steel container. We put an igniter strip inside here and the weld metal is there. So in this process, we have our mold. We, we take our tinned two hole copper pad. We insert it inside the mold. We shut the mold. We take our two watt conductor. Uh, we insert that and we shut the mold. Now we're ready to make the connection. We drop in the, di the Cadwell cartridge, we point it outward, we close it, and then we take our control unit, or the, uh, which basically builds up a capacitance, sends an energy pulse down to this igniter strip, creates a 2,000 degree spark, and initiates the reaction. So we plug this in, shut the mold, have the clip out, fire in the hole, it's not gunpowder, it's not cadmium, just copper oxide and aluminum, and we uh, react it, it's a thermite reaction, to make a solid copper connection.
build up a capacitance, get a little flame off of the mylar cover onto the reaction. We pull the igniter out. I'll open it a little quickly so you can see molten copper has a viscosity of water. We drop the mold, we drop the connection out. And here we have a solid welded tin hole, tinned copper pad to a two watt conductor. Goes from ambient to about 4200 degrees in less than a second. This is the slag, the aluminum oxide that I talked about, the byproduct of it and the, the copper for the connection. The only maintenance to the molds themselves, our molds are good for about 50 connections, is just lightly brush out the mold, uh, just to get a little of the, the slag material out of the mold, so we get good clean looking connections, and we're ready to weld another connection. So the technology is uh, a electronic based ignition system versus a flint gun. Or a torch.